My name is Sierra Flores and I am the Everyday Educator. In today's video, I want to teach you all about the newest feature of Nearpod, which is videos with activities embedded. And so with this, it's kind of similar to Edpuzzle if you're familiar with that, but your students have the ability to watch a video and then after a really important part, you have the opportunity to automatically pause the video. They'll have to answer either an open-ended or a multiple choice question, and then they can move along with the video. It's really cool because you can do it at student paced or you can do it live. And so you'll show your material on the big screen and then your students can have their smaller screens and their answers will be private only to them. And so I'm gonna just stop with the explaining and I'm just gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you how to create it and what one looks like. To begin, I am in my library. I'm gonna go to create. And here I'll click videos. Now, what I really like about this is that Nearpod already has a library of pre-created videos that I can use. It's all here at my disposal. Or if I want to search for something more specific, I can add in some filters. So I can select my state, I can select my standards if I want, I can select the topic, and I can select the grade. For me, I want to do, let's do math today, um, second grade math. I specifically want to do a telling time video so I can go through here and scroll and search for telling time, or I could just come to the top here and type it in. Telling time. And there we go, a telling time video. So um, I'm gonna click in here and preview the video. Now, I always recommend that you preview the videos because sometimes you see these blue dots. These are where the questions are. Sometimes the questions are very simple and you could make them a little more rigorous based on your group of kids this year. And so you know them better than anyone else. So you're the one that kind of has to make that call. And so what I like to do, I watch the video, I go through, I edit on the questions because I want to see what do these questions say? Is it rigorous enough for my students? Or is it just right? And so as I'm going through, if I'm here and I want to add in another activity, I can do that. I will press the add activity button here and then I choose open-ended question or multiple choice question. Later on, I'm going to show you what that looks like as far as the question creation goes. But for now, let's say I'm done. I don't really want to add an activity. So I'm just going to click save and I'm going to give this video a title. Telling time, second grade, save and exit. Now, I just took this video from Nearpod's library. Now it is modified for my specific class. So the question everybody always asks me is, well, what does it look like with students? So I can look at the live participation, meaning that I have kids in front of me or maybe the kids are on Zoom and I'm doing this lesson with them. Student pace means that they're not with me, they're doing it on their own and then I can look at it at a later date. And then front of class means that you are presenting or projecting the Nearpod on your screen at the front of the board. Maybe it's a Promethean board, maybe it's a smart board or a whiteboard with a projector, whatever you have in your room, you're the one who's showing it. And then on the kids' screens, they get to see their individual answers so that that way they can see their private answers. Now it's not like Kahoot where you get the wrong answer and your whole screen lights up red. That's embarrassing. I hate getting answers wrong in Kahoot because of that, ugh. But on this, it's a little bit more private. So I'm going to minimize that screen and then I'm gonna go to nearpod.com. And so what I want you to just imagine for a moment with me here, okay? So this side of the screen, this is the teacher version. I'm in Google Chrome, I'm on the teacher version, okay? This is what you will see. On the other side, this right side, I'm in Microsoft Edge. This is what the students will see, okay? So we have teacher view and student view happening at the same time because I want you to see what it looks like live if you're doing a live lesson. So I'm going to go ahead and move 
um, everything and get it set up, I'm gonna do live participation. So I'll click live and then you'll see a code is going to come up, a class code. All right, this is the class code. And then I'm going to enter that class code or I'm gonna display that to my kids on my smart board. And so here, your students are just gonna to go to nearpod.com. Students are going to join a lesson. And now they're gonna type in that code that their teacher just gave them. E eight A F four and join. Now this is a screen that the students are gonna see on their Chromebooks, on their iPads, their phones, whatever they're on. All right, let me sign in. Join lesson. All right, I don't know if you caught that, but it said I, there was a quick sign or a quick um, text box that said eyes up front because I'm going to be displaying the video up front on the smart board, okay? So let's say we're in class. I'm back on the left side, putting your teacher hat back on. So now we're in class. I'm going to start my lesson uh, with my boys and girls. Play the video. All right, and they don't see this, I see this, okay? And so it says, are you ready to begin? And when you click start activity, it automatically pauses for you. And so I'm gonna apply this to all the activities and then I'm going to click start. So you see the student screen, now, as a student, what do you know about telling time? Ready? Put your answer here. And so let's say that as a student, I need a little help reading. I can click this, the symbol here, and this is the immersive um, reader. And so it reads it for me and it helps me out. Go down and click play. Okay, so now I know what it says. What do you know about selling time? Now I understand the question. I click back and I can answer. Okay, and watch when I submit. I'm gonna click submit, but you look at the left side of the screen. Submit. Did you see how it automatically populated? So now imagine this in a class full of kids. This screen is on my computer. I can see this if I want to see this. All right. The difference in live and um, front view is that front view, they can see the screen up there. But with live, I have it on my own personal computer, okay? So I don't even have to be with them. I could be at home and they're on their computers at their homes and we're doing this together, okay? Now it says, got it. All right. Let's say that this was a really exciting answer. It's just the best answer. I wanna share that with the class. Hey, boys and girls, look at what the everyday educator had to say. This is a really great answer. Or if I want to, I can keep it anonymous because look, share it with the class. And now all my student screens, it shows this right here, this answer. Notice how it doesn't say anybody's name. It's completely anonymous. Um, this is one of the new updates to Nearpod. Pear Deck had it first, so and it was really awesome. And so now Nearpod has it, and it's equally as awesome. All right, back to teacher mode. Unshare with the class because now we're ready to move on to the next part. Okay, so you see what the student screen looks like? Now me, I'm going to press play as a teacher. And you see here that nothing is playing on my student screen right now because eyes up front, they're watching um my screen or it really just kind of depends on how your specific settings are because some people they want it to be more um remote i guess where i can see everything on my screen you can see everything on your screen but then some people in a in-person setting they want to show everything up front okay and so you just really have to play with it depending on if you're in person or remote learning okay here we go this is the next question you see how it automatically stopped? What does the shorthand on the clock tell you? Here, I, as a teacher, I can see all this, all right? 
And so this is what my students see. And I remember I need help reading, so. And so you can see it reads it to me there. Um, I'll click and submit as a student. And now as a teacher, I see that my class is answering and my class is super smart because it's green, it's 100% and we got 100% correct. If I wanna share the solution, awesome. I can share the solution and you see how it says right here, a little check mark. That is what I was talking about earlier, how Kahoot puts you on blast if you get it wrong and it's just this giant red screen that lets everybody know you got it wrong. This is more private and I can see this and it's not something that's obvious. So if I did get it wrong, I'm not really embarrassed because it's my own private data. Unshare. And I'm going to, and at this point, you can go ahead and move on and go all the way through the lesson. And so that that is how um, you'll be able to, that's what it looks like for student view and teacher view. So now I am going to go in and I'm going to go back. I'm finished with this lesson for now. And so the next thing that I want to show you is how to actually create your own. So you are going to go to videos and let's say that you want to do a YouTube video, you can search and find a video, all these videos here. I can look, my videos, that is the ones that you have created or the ones that you've already edited. Upload a video is where you can upload one directly from your computer. And so um, I'm gonna go to YouTube and click on time video. And so I'm gonna click on this one with the dude. All right, that's a good one. And save, remember you have to save things before them to go through. Obviously, I'm going to preview this video before I actually teach it, but right now, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to plug in some questions. So, for example, add, this is what I want them to do. All right, so I'm going to add an activity, and it's going to be an open-ended question. And I might want to say, what is one way you can... How many hours are in a day and I can save that all right I got my first little bubble there we go let's say that I really want to put another question right here all right add the activity it's gonna be a multiple choice question mm, what time is it all right answer option Five o'clock p.m. Answer option um, six o'clock p.m. And then I have to choose which one of these is the correct answer, or maybe I want to throw in a tricky answer and put five thirty p.m. Well, the correct answer is six p.m. And so now I'm going to click save, and I have my little bubble. And let's say that this is all that I wanted to do. I'm finished. I'm going to click save one final time. Title this video. Save and exit. And then we're going to follow the same exact process that we did to begin. I hope this video helped you and that you learned a little something about Nearpod and videos with embedded activities. And so if you did find this valuable, please click like, share it with someone else who you think will also find value. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.